You were expecting Johnny, weren't you? Well, guess what? He ain't here. Where is he? Hmm. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm giving him my computer. He doesn't know I'm making this video. Or I did tell him that I was making a video, but never told him what channel I'm uploading it on and when I'm uploading it. So it's more of a surprise. Anyway, I cut up some of this cardboard for packaging. You see, the cardboard goes like this. You bend it. And it kind of keeps the hard drives from moving around. And all you have to do is pull it out. Or might do it like this. I don't know. You see that this computer is really dusty inside. But take out this thing actually has four screws for the side panel. But I only put two on for now. I have the other two in that tray over there. I'm usually very lazy when I work on my computer. So I only put two, one in each corner. It seems to work, but for him I'll put four for full durability. I want to find a way to polish the screen because the screen is very scratched. It's plastic, so no issue. You see, this fan is very dirty. As you can see, you can see all those little dirty fins. And, you know, you know, figure it out. You know, vacuum clean. These fans have been spinning for about almost a year or two, not doing anything. Um, I can easily just unclip the fan, so I'll show you. See? Ooh, look at that fan. It's been spinning. So, I mean, it's, I, uh, trust me, I've seen much worse. This is actually nothing bad compared to what I've seen. I got in my grandma's PC, and oh my gosh, there's like a thick layer of dust on it. Otherwise, not that bad compared to what I've seen before. So you can see all those dirty fins. This weird little shadow thing. Yeah, it's just... It's just, uh, what's this? That's all. Otherwise, not bad. It's very dirty. I'm just going to have to get, like, a little brush and brush the motherboard. Anything dirty on it. Maybe take the cooler off. Well, I'm going to have to before I ship it to him. I have the original box. Yeah. Look, we're going to have to do lots of, uh, cleaning. This area, it, it can support a 3 fan radiator, 360 millimeters I'm guessing, and that's what this big gap is here for. You're supposed to take this area out right here, but anyway, this is probably where I'm going to stuff the extra cables, probably here, but I, can't, I don't want to stuff too many because there is a fan right here on the other side, so I'm not going to be careful not to stuff too many. Um, and yeah, let's make sure I'm not going to stuff too many. Hard drive this is slot one, and of course, slot two. I'm gonna have him have. I want to give him a 60 gigabyte, 7,200 RPM Linux hard drive because he still likes using Linux. I'll actually double check if he really wants Linux or not. But um, I'm gonna give him this Western Digital 500 gigabyte hard drive for storage because yeah, he had to get a refund on his other one. And it really hasn't came back, and apparently it's going to take a couple weeks to a day. A couple days to a week. It's already been a couple days. So I'm guessing it'll probably come in a week or two. And see, that actually will stop the jostling. Of course, I'm going to have to put like a tab or something so he can pull the cardboard out easier. But see, it does seem to work. So if I put the cardboard here... We'll just stop them from jostling around. I'm also going to put a piece of cardboard here so the, so the hard drives don't slide out. So yeah, cardboard's going to do a big justice here. Otherwise, that's it for cardboard. 
I guess we can, um, I was going to do, I want to say I'm going to do some painting or rust work, but I think I could do that tomorrow. Yeah, I could probably do that a little later. I don't know, I couldn't sell the power supply. I actually have it right here, so. Yeah, might as well install it. So, want to do unboxing? Sure, let's do a little unboxing. Bingo, manual. Power cable. Power supply. Let's take power supply. Ooh, what else is in here? Oh, screws. We need screws. And the disgusting smelling packaging material. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells really bad. Usually new stuff's supposed to smell good, not bad. But whatever. Oh yeah, it smells like that smells like ugh, I don't know. Well it's a power supply, it's not supposed to smell good, but usually things smell good. My other power supply smells okay. Eh yeah, whatever. Two different power supplies. Can't can't judge a power supply by its cover. Take it out of its uh, packaging. Ooh, not bad. Woo! Woo! Price is rude. This is actually looks pretty good. Not bad. It's just a simple little power supply, mini, normal, standard. Wow, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. Well, yeah, it's kind of small. Oh, I thought it goes in like this, but no, it goes in like this. Very tiny in form factor. It's actually kind of cute. It weighs a lot, though. And you can see inside, there's these little heat fins and stuff. Yeah, so that means there's a... Yeah, this thing, I don't think this thing's going to be overheating. Brand new power supply. He bought it with his money, and yeah, he did a good justice. But, yeah, let's just undo it. Tomorrow we're going to get rid of some rust and doing some extra cleaning to everything. Mmm. <clears throat> Maybe get an air compressor. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can't use that. Oh, we need a new hose. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, I'll be, you guys will be here every step of the way. Because I know you guys really like Johnny D's channel and I think he could be funny too. And funny is exactly... Oh yeah, and press the like button if you want him to do some reaction videos. Not bad. Hopefully, Johnny will be uploading a video, too, of him retrieving the computer and setting it up. Because he's still going to have to do his end of the deal. He's going to have to screw in the heat sink and put in the power, uh, put in the graphics card. Otherwise, from that, he's good. Uh, hope he figures out how to do it. I'm pretty sure he will. I'll, I'll help him. And yes, we still have floppy disks. This is a floppy disk connector. Isn't that weird? Huh. So yeah, I guess we need to install this puppy. In fact, I actually like working with older computers and newer computers. And okay, as you guys see right here, we're going to install the power supply. I don't know. I, yeah, the fan goes down. So we slide it in like so. We slide it in. Make sure the holes are aligned, and then we screw it in. Well, let's connect the ports together. Oh, get in. Okay, first off, the first port is the CPU power. I'm giving them the full eight pins so we can get maximum power. Actually, when I first bought this computer, it actually had this motherboard, a different case though, and different power supply, but it had eight pin. But it only they only plugged in the four pin, which was very dumb because eight pin would give you maximum power anyway. They didn't want to draw more; it just gives your CPU more power options and more, you know, custom ability, especially good for overclocking, which was very dumb of the company only to plug in four. So might as well plug in eight. Always plug in eight if you have the option. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it works. Huh, much better. 
going to have to clean everything more detailed, but hey, it's looking better. Not much because there wasn't really much ugly with it in the first place. It's just looking a little better. Okay, we'll see you guys when that CPU comes in or when the rust is finished gone. So I got Johnny's CPU in the mail, so it's time to install it. And then it goes in like this, just drop it carefully. And some of the pins are a tad bent, but if it goes in, okay, I think we're good. Ah, yep, we're good. Ready? And, yep, we're good. Yep, we're good. Now time to install the cooler. Yay, the cooler. I actually wonder why this is not coming off. That's on. Anyway, we got a little thermal paste here. Now, I was originally going to take the cooler off, have Johnny D install it when it gets shipped there because it's not easy. Okay, I got the thermal paste. Eh, it already has a little on it, but I'll just put like a pea sized blob. Should be plenty. It's not totally centered, but was anything centered nowadays? Okay. Before I install Windows, I'm going to turn on the computer to see if the 6-core processor works. Hold on. It should. It's it was pretty durable. Ready? Oh, man. Ready? See if it works. I have a keyboard, a mouse, cord hooked up to it. I also have this... Uh, Internet drive for internet. Oh, um, Windows. Oh, let's try Windows 2. Darn. Okay, so it's booting up the Linux. So obviously, our boot drives are a little miscombobulated. Very simple. Just have to figure out. Which one's the boot drive? I think the boot one is this. So we're just gonna flip it around. Let's see if that works. And also while we're at it, I'm gonna get those power front panel connectors plugged in. Okay, let's see if that fixes it. So LED, yep, the power LED's on. Okay. Got the front panel connectors plugged in. Okay, ready? Does it work? Windows 10? Is it Windows 10? Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Damn, it's still Linux Mint. Um, okay, so something's still not, oh, the SSD's not even plugged in. Okay, well that explains it. Make sure you plug in your stuff before testing it out. Okay, no biggie. Okay, no biggie. Oh, damn it, turn off already. Oh, god damn. Come on, why is it not turning off? There you go. Okay, the SSD is not even plugged in. That's the issue here. Maybe if we plug it in somehow. There, problem solved. Plug it in. Just going to reach it over here. Do I see it? Come on, get plugged in. Bingo, it's plugged in. He has SSD now. That's why I was going to Linux. I have it set to... I think it's like hard drive one and hard drive two. Okay, let's get this done. What's turning on now? Now that I have the power thing done. Yep, okay, now that I have the SSD plugged in, let's see if it boots up the windows. Seems to work. Ready? Not too late. 
Oh, Windows. Yes, Windows. We did it. We did it. We did it. Wait, hold on. Can't tell. Tell it actually boots. Now this takes longer on a normal SSD than a VNAT. Oh yeah, it has to do with the getting devices ready thing. It has to, you know, sync with the new graphics card. Because, you know, I haven't used the 710 in a while. I'm just using my sister's computer. That's a, that's a couple scratches on here. You can see that one. Mm, there's a couple, not many. I got this case because I was really, at the time, I liked the Samsung Galaxy S8. So what I did is, this had like the edge display type of situation, so I got it. Plus, it looked like a really nice case with the nice beautiful fans on it. Okay, guys, it works. Now time to install a fresh new version of Windows. I'm excited. Let's see if we can get it running. Okay, ready? Let's spam up 12. Come on, you can do it. Okay, we need to check. Uh, USB. Why not? Please boot. Come on, you can do it. Damn it, wrong one. Come on, I need a USB here. I don't want to unplug my SATA just to install Windows. Okay, let's try this hard disk. Uh, let's do USB, um, CD-ROM, why not, let's treat it like it's a CD, cause, come on, it's not what I want, I want Windows, I guess we're gonna have to unplug the SATA hard drive after all, both of them, yeah, see, it boots straight to Windows. I think I successfully activated Windows without paying for it. <clears throat> and no, I didn't go in the black market to get it. I legitimately did it. But doesn't mean I paid for it. Uh, custom. Okay. Multiple drive partitions. First, we need to format this. Format. Format. Well, let me format this. It's a Linux drive. How about this one? Eh, I'm gonna have to create a new partition on that disk. That's probably why it's not working. I think I already. New. Next. Well, fine then. Refresh. Uh, Windows is going to take forever. Damn it. Format. Well, looks like it's, looks like installing Windows is going to be impossible. Here, let's see if I could just boot up the normal Windows and start deleting everything. Let's see if that'll work. Hmm, it did work. Maybe. Wait, hold on. Don't plug that USB. There we go. Oh. 
time to install windows again it's a darn long process should have just installed it okay we're finally done uh, United States Dun, 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 dun. It would be nice if there was like Wii music playing. Dun, 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 I'm gonna use my my little Wi-Fi dongle for now. I do have Ethernet, but I'm running out of cords. Okay, I have to type a password. Ready? Dun 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 Okay, let's continue. Are you using this computer? John? Hmm, this is different than what I remember. John, uh, create a super memorable password. I have it right here on me. Okay. So we'll check it. Okay. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to do security question. No, I'm not doing. You know what? Screw it. Online. Hmm. Except I'm just going to create a password after. Probably this. I don't even have to record this. I'm gonna. I want to see you guys after I finish installing Windows. However long it's going to take. Okay, I'm practically done. I put cardboard in lots of spots on this computer, so hopefully nothing happens. We're going to get shipping insurance on it. So for stability, I have this taped on. We're good. This is sturdy. This is wrapped up completely with cardboard so it doesn't scratch the panel. And for the power cord, which is last, we're going to wind it up. Okay, I'm just going to tuck it in there, okay, then get the microfiber towel, and swipe it down a little, Okay, we're good. Okay, carefully put this back on. Okay. Okay, good. We got some thumbtack screws somewhere. Here we go. Okay, one. Two. Being uncooperative for some reason. It also has a brand new six core processor. Well, it's used, but you know, we bought it, so I guess it's brand new to us. Let's look for those other because there's four of them. I used to do a lot of unpackaging. Put a lot of cardboard in lots of spots, so 
even around the hard drives and stuff and behind the motherboard, so we're good. Hopefully. You know what, I think it, <laughs> it's kind of crooked, but not straight, but it's good now. Here you go. I did it. It's all done. What are these spots? Oh, it's from it's the reflection. Oh, yeah. Since I'm one of the little packaging freaks, I want to just do this for fun. Hold on. Can't do something for fun if you can't do it. Just to wipe the sound. Yeah, it's a little dusty. Looks like. Yeah, it's just a little. We're good. It's enough for me to do that now. So I'll just for fun send that a since I'm a little big tape freak. There you go. And of course, for the panels. There you go. Pull out the tape a little. And we're gonna fold it at the end so you can easily pull it out. There you go. It's all shipped. All screws are in. Weighs nice and heavy. Oh man, it weighs a lot. Hoo hoo. I think it weighs more than 46 pounds now. Be right back. Okay. I have the box here. Okay. We're going to carefully package this. Oh, we still have this. Okay. Well, I hope he has a good unboxing experience at first. Okay. I'm always doing that. So just so we're gonna do a little test on this case to see if it's good for shipping. What's that sound? Oh. Besides from the paper flying around, oh it's pretty good. It can go flat. It can go upside down. I mean Under here. Oh wow, it actually fits perfectly. Uh, almost. Just a tad smaller. Which is just a tad, it's not a lot actually. Think about it. All I have to do get some cardboard, which I currently have here. Put a little cardboard here. There you go. We're good. Now we have to carefully slide it into the box. I think it goes in like this. But we'll see. Ready? I'll miss you, buddy. Have a good trip to Texas. Hope oh, you can get good use. Mm, okay. Seems to fit. Okay. Oh, I never put the top. Oh, this, man, this thing's heavy. How did my other case chip? Unless these are supposed to go on the side. I never thought of that. I actually didn't think. I don't know if it does go on the side. I actually do have a plan now. Here, just fold this up. Here 
We're gonna have to fold it up again. And then for now, I, I'll get real duct tape later, just to keep it closed. It's just an alternative solution. Oh my gosh. I think we have a lot. It's fine. It's large. There you go. There it is, my case. His case. Oh yeah, there's a shipping label I have to remove on there. Hey, see you guys later, bye. Enjoy your computer, John.